Hello and welcome to February and Blackathon. I'm currently not at home. I don't tend to follow prompts because I'm a mood bringer, so these are books that are by black authors and I will probably look at the end and kind of see if I align with any of the things from Blackathon, but you should really check out Jessie's videos. They're amazing. Redemptor by Jordan Afiko is a book that is the sequel to Ray Bearer, which I absolutely loved. It is one of my favorite books of 2021. I read it twice. It was lovely. It is an Afro-European world in which these people have gifts. Specifically, the main character can touch any inanimate or animate object and tell their history, and she is, like, given this quest to join the king's council, the prince's council, who is, will one day be king, in order to slay him, and yet she actually has to fully love him to do it, and it's a very interesting dynamics of friendships, and it's not romantic, and I love that aspect, too, and I just really enjoy watching her grow up in the stories, and I can't wait to read Redemptor. The second book is Love and Cother. I'm really excited for this. It's a retelling of various myths from around the world, by West African author and I think that is going to be really really good. It sounds really amazing. I've been really falling in love with short stories and I love myth retelling so I think this is going to be perfect. In the same way we have Lot by Brian Washington and this is a collection of short stories taking place in a Houston burrow around the city, specifically looking at a young man growing up in his family dynamics and the way that he interacts with the world. It's from the desk of Zoe Washington. It's a middle grade book that looks at a girl who just turned 12, I believe, and she gets a letter from her father that she has never known and who has been in prison for the rest of her life. And in the story, we really look at her story and her kind of figuring out whether her father is actually innocent. And it also has some cooking aspects in it, which sounds like it's going to be really lovely. Another one I'm really excited for is Whatever Happened to Interracial Love. This is by Kathleen Collins. She is an author who has since passed, but was very popular in the 1970s and wrote a bunch of stories. I just read the collection of stories today, A Woman Went Mad in the Supermarket, which is similarly by an author who published in the 1960s and 70s and was now republished like 40, 50 years later. And I think that is really really lovely and I am really enjoying reading from this era and I think that reading from a black woman and her experiences in the same way I have pouring rain down this is a memoir by an Albertan woman who was writing in who grew up in the 1940s and 50s in Alberta and her experiences of being black here and I'm actually in Alberta so I think it will be a perfect book to read while I'm here for my history book for the month I have hidden figures this is a book that I've been meaning to read for quite a while it's very popular and it looks at these women who are like human computers for the NASA mission for the moon, I believe, and their experiences of both racism and sexism and how that interacts with their lives. A similar vein to my older kind of 1960s, 70s, we have Things I Should Have Told My Daughter by Pearl Kleji, Kleg, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. And she is a playwright, author, and art activist, and this is her story and memoir about her experiences of being a playwright and growing up in the 70s and 80s in, I think, New York and kind of around there in her experiences, and I think it was gonna be really cool. I love memoirs, and I especially love memoirs by like kind of lesser known figures that I think it's really cool. I have old people watching me, this is super great. Uh, what else did I say? A book that I've been meaning to read for a very, very long time and haven't yet is American Marriage by Tahiri Jones. It is about this couple who are have a lovely marriage. I think they've been married for about five years and then he gets arrested on a crime that he didn't commit and their marriage and kind of how it unravels because of their experiences of being separated. And I also have Beloved by Toni Morrison. This is a book I've been meaning to read for a while. I've read three or four of her other books and I've really enjoyed them, even though they often have really hard content. I'm really excited to read this one. It is has some horror aspects, some ghosts, and it is about a woman who escapes slavery and her experiences of being a mother as well. I'm also really excited to read the final revival of Opal Nove. This is a book that has been on my reading list since it came out. My roommate owns it and has given it like such great reviews and I'm so very excited. I think it has some like Daisy Jones and the Six things. It's about this duo of people who are kind of going through their experiences of being in the music industry, especially as the woman I believe who I think is Opal, I'm assuming, or maybe she's Nev. I'm not really sure. Either one, whichever one is the woman who is experiencing racism and her experiences of being kind of in the 70s and 80s and I also have have Vinyl Moon, which I didn't write what it's about, so I don't know, but it looks like it's super great. And I also want to read something by Tiffany D. Jackson because I've been meaning to read her for quite a while and I haven't yet. And there's several one of her books that I'm really interested in, so I haven't decided which one that I will pick up first. I hope all of you have a wonderful February and that you read lots of books by Black authors and tell me what you're planning on reading, what you've already read, and what you're really excited to read, and I will look forward to talking to you next.